<laughs> what you are trying to do is impossible. I await your ultimate failure with bated breath. Like Sisyphus and Tantalus, you reach eternally for a goal you shall never achieve. Like Icarus, you have flown too close to the sun, and now must you plummet to earth, burning in your own fit. Whoa! What the fuck? How did you do that, man? You all have asked me what the scariest SCP is, and though I don't know the whole archive by heart, I do have a bit of a holiday edition for you. SCP-4666, known as the Yule Man, is an elderly male with a severely emaciated appearance, estimated between 2 to 2.3 meters in height. While its abilities are mostly unknown because we're unable to capture the bastard, we do know that it is at least 500 years old and has the ability to instantaneously teleport anywhere on Earth. During a period of 12 consecutive nights around the holidays, 4666 will start appearing around the dwellings of one or multiple families, specifically ones that have a child under the age of eight. What starts as distant stalking progresses to home invasions before culminating on the twelfth night with one of two scenarios. Fifteen percent of the time it leaves gifts made from the bodies of dead children. For the rest, read it yourself. Uh, wait a minute. You know, normally I'd be annoyed, but they're actually quite talented. Yes, queen! Shantae, you stay! Okay, now sashay away back to your cell. You have three wishes, and you can wish for whatever you want, but there are three rules. You can't kill anyone, you can't ask more wishes, and you can't make anyone fall in love with you. What do you want? I want trees to feel pain. What? They don't have to make noise or anything, I just want to know that they're in pain. There are four rules. Oh, I remember when they did this to me! Bright and Kondraki take hazing the new guy way too far. I often get asked if the Foundation is part of the US government, and then I look at stuff like this. Remember when NASA sent a woman to space for only six days and they gave her 100 tampons, 100 tampons, and asked will that be enough? And I think 343 that we're an independent organization. Yeah! Anyone with half a brain would have given him 200 tampons! Clef, just... no! What is the O5 Council? Well, that's quite a rabbit hole you're hopping down. Most of what we know about the Overseers, or O5 Command, is merely rumor. Most Foundation staff will go their entire career without encountering an O5. Hell. Level 2 researchers and below don't even know that the Overseers exist. Thirteen individuals who run every facet of the Foundation, who know every secret of every anomaly. It is said that they're kept separate, in secret locations, kept away from any anomaly that might do them harm. Other rumors state that the only anomalies they're allowed physical access to are life-extending anomalies, causing their careers to last longer than multiple lifetimes. And let's not forget their personal task force, Alpha-1 codenamed the Red Right Hand, sent to accomplish missions or disappear researchers who ask too many questions. Yeah, I heard Bright had a meeting with the Ethics Committee and- Oh, uh, hey Bright, how are- how are you doing today, buddy? How was, uh, how was that meeting? I would just like to remind everybody that because the Yule Man steals children at Christmas, that's normal, but the second I do it, everyone loses their mind. Yeah! If you've tagged the SCP Foundation, this better be... Fuck! Shit! We've got a ZK! 117, stand down. Sir, you... Piss off. Hmm, what do we got here? Oh, right in public, huh? Gimme Mobile Task Force Gamma 3, codename Creep on the Crawlers. Alright, and... Oh, son of a... Give this to the O5 Whoa! How did you get in my office? Who are you? How I got here or my identity are not important. Can you give this to the O5? 
Forget the O5. Answer my question. I'm sorry. I mean, I was not trying to answer that question. That's obvious. I'm not doing it now. Wait, what do you mean? I hate this place. Site 42 staff, I need some help on this one. I've gone through the whole Where Is This Guy archive, and there's not a lot of intel, even in the comments from the creator. Is this mystery solvable? Can we get this guy out of here? Help me out. I've heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord, but you don't really care for music, do you? SCP-4521 update. We've made the tree bleed but it still isn't screaming. Why aren't you screaming? You're in pain, aren't you? It hurts, doesn't it? I feel pain. I feel pain all the time. Do you know how many people I've sent to their death? Not just D-Class, but researchers, good people. And to make myself feel better, I scream! Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year Now I don't know if there'll be snow But have a cup of cheer I've been informed by my foundation assigned therapist that it may be beneficial to my mental state if I walk through SCP-4521's situation. SCP-4521 is a Douglas fir tree with abnormal shape and leaves. SCP-4521 was discovered within God Silence, Oregon after reports of an ear-piercing silence. SCP-4521's primary anomalous- As testing continues. During this lucid moment, I've come to the conclusion that possibly there's a memetic effect making us think the tree should scream. Nah, we'll get it. Hello. Oh, good morning. Dr. Sherman, you are second on Dizzy Claus's list. Oh, <laughs> really? That means I have a present for you. Oh, that's really not necessary. Ta-da. Uh, Dizzy, I don't wear glasses. Well, I know you don't need glasses, but they make you look smart. <laughs> And I know how much you like being smart, so I got- w Wait, did you take those from Dr. Blue's office? I didn't take these. Well, I just got a message from Dr. Blue whose glasses are missing. What do you mean Dr. Blue's missing his glasses? Dizzy, are those Dr. Blue's glasses? Anyway, um, here you go. Merry Christmas. Bye. Yo, fuck this tree! Yo! Japanese television series known as Naruto. As you can see by the red and black pattern, he is currently wielding a form of the Sharingan. Your goal is to apprehend and return to site so that we can test the full extent of his powers. Oh, hold up. You're telling me this kid has eyes from the Ojiha clan? You gotta know asking us to capture this dude is a death sentence, right? They can create self-contained black holes. Are you aware of this? We just watched him turn a guy to spaghetti. Central, if you send us in without backup, there's very little chance we come back from this. We are fully aware of what the Sharingan is capable of, but this is your job. If you do things properly, you'll be able to make it home in time for lunch and file a complaint with the higher-ups. <sighs> Approaching target for apprehension. Fuck you. Stand by. Excuse me while I blaspheme, but according to the Christian teachings I grew up with, God created man in his own image, and in doing so, Gave men a G-spot up the ass. That wasn't random. God already had that. God's a bottom. Fuck you. My child is completely fine. This is 
is your fault, you know. Liking, sharing, commenting. These are my most popular videos. You're doing this to me. You know, the SCP Wiki won its first lawsuit against that Russian trademark troll, but we have to do a second lawsuit to finish the job. So yes, 049, thank you very much. We do stand with SCPRU. As a man with a perfect face and perfect teeth can be funny and intelligent at the same time. <gasps> Dr. Brightsama, you can't be talking about me with this too kind terminology. You're going to put all the shippers into overdrive. Besides, it's not like I like you or anything. Baka. Good afternoon, Foundation staff. This is Dr. Theron Sherman. My superiors have suggested strongly that I take a small sabbatical because of stress due to testing SCP-4521. And so they have assigned me to handle a situation on Mount Diablo in Northern California. They say that the Mount Diablo or Devil Mountain name is the result of a mistranslation. But if you're familiar with Foundation misinformation campaigns, you'll take that explanation with a grain of salt. I would love to give you a tour of the Foundation monitoring site beneath the Visitor Center, but as long as the Mountain Spirit is active, the site is on lockdown. Luckily, our researchers have properly warded the path to the Spirit's altar, so I am in no real danger here. And there we are. A small and simple sacrifice, but it gets the job done. Whew, and that view. You know, maybe this trip was good for me. Good afternoon, Foundation staff. This is Dr. Theron Sherman checking in on another field mission. It's Anomalous Creatures 101 to realize that vampires can't cross running water. Those with more knowledge will recall that running water nullifies the abilities of both magic-based entities and thaumaturges. Now, I'm not saying that every water feature you encounter is containing some sort of anomalous entity. What I am saying is that if you see someone like me performing maintenance on one of them, don't interrupt us. Gang, I was planning a heartwarming video about self-care, about places of power, about places you could find little bits of magic in the real world and use that to raise your spirits to make yourself feel better. Like this water feature. When I sit on this rock next to this running water, I feel better. I feel at peace. You can use things like that in your day-to-day -day life. But then, as I simply meander across the street, I come across this. Don't know what I mean yet? What? Really? I have never played Roblox, but as an SCP creator, I am all too aware about the SCP side of Roblox, and I've heard it's either a heaven or a hell. And being this close to the heart of darkness, so to speak, ugh. So yeah, places of power. Even more potent than I first expected, huh? Every single person born under the astrological sign Leo is an SCP, specifically a reality bender. I mean, you've always suspected what the air against the insane optimism that things are just magically gonna go their way? Come on. Thank the longfish, most of them don't know it, but their powers will still leak out and bend things to their will once in a while accidentally. It's nothing to worry about though. The Foundation's got this under control. Say hello to the Leo Trap. Playing to the Leo's characteristic narcissism, we lure our subjects into this maze of mirrors and into the magic circle that removes their abilities. The process is completely painless. The subject doesn't realize they've lost anything. And with that, the veil is maintained. Secure. Contain. Protect. Hey Central, do you have any idea why there have been so many anime-related anomalies lately? Oh yeah. Say- so ...was breached. Deals with media-related anomalies. TV, movies, comics, that sort of stuff. We're probably going to be seeing a lot more anime-related powers then, yeah? Most likely. Wait, wait a second. Do you have cat girls? What? Cat girls. Do you have them? Uh, I, I can't really tell you that. Central! Call me back when you've calmed down, I gotta go. Central! Do you have cat girls? I need to know! 
surgery! Hey there, Site42 fam. It's come to my attention that not a lot of people know that we have a Site42 SCP merch store. We've commissioned art from multiple artists to make SCP-related merch, and we've got stickers for the Site42 channel. And so if you want some SCP merch, as well as helping support the Site42 channel, teespring.com slash stores slash Site42. Thank you in advance, and cheers.